Hello friends and welcome. Thank you for joining me today for some more... I almost said RimWorld there for more Software Incorporated Advanced Drip PC. My name is Sean and when we left off... That's right, I got all that stuff done. It was October of 2002. We've got Groom 2 coming out. Well, not for several months, huh? Well, now why does it say... Oh, press build in November. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Um... Weird. Okay, sorry. I was thinking about something unrelated to what we're doing here. So how about I focus on the game? Uh, there's a whole reason that I have these headphones on and this little microphone in front of my mouth. And that is because you guys want to hear what I have to say. And I need to pay attention while we're going on. Now, did we just make a whole bunch of money last month or did I forget to spend money at the end of the month before that? I don't know. Um, that looks like flat draw five. Looks like we have quite a few projects that sold really well last month, so we must have made decent money last month anyway. Um, once again, we have all of our windows, or all of our uh, columns all screwed up because of that. Uh, let's go ahead and order a few more copies of uh, Door 12. We don't need the half a million, but 150,000 will do. All the rest of these look like they're in pretty good shape for now, so we can go ahead and close those down and get back to the main screen. Let's throw our money into our insurance fund as usual. And um, maybe look to see if there are any more of these guys that I can buy stock for. Uh, looks like a new company started up this month. Let's invest in that. And uh, we already invested in last month. So, oh, look at that. Nice return on investment there. And we'll just let this clock run. Um, we are hyping this, right? Okay, good. Uh, we're going to do a press build this month, so we'll boost those followers up. But you can see we're losing some followers as time goes by, despite our gigantic marketing efforts in general. Move you up a little bit. All right, so this one is ready to go. We're going to assign it to no team. Okay. And that means I need to find something for my Design C team to do. Um, so that's Race Drive 4. And uh, there's Race Drive 3. We have, uh, we already have an antivirus and we have our audio tool and our 2D editor. And we, uh, did we just release? Oh, we just released Project Saturn? Holy mackerel. Wow. So our next game is going to be made with Project Saturn. I guess we could start on, in on Project Uranus. I don't know that there's really going to be any new features to add to that. On the other hand, it's not a bad idea to constantly have a new a new uh, cycle going on those things. Uh, we could also, I guess, set up what is five. Um, look at look at how popular what is four is. Sixteen million dollars just last month. Uh, we have a game engine, and we have a Project Saturn, and this will be prod. Project Uranus, and uh, 3D Editor, of course. I don't know why it wants me to use something from like 20 years ago. Let's see layer six. There's nothing, nothing that's going to be new for this, right? I mean, I guess those were not in the previous ones. I don't get it. Um, and throw that onto the hosting yeah so but there will never be anything new I mean we're already at uh, already kind of at the uh, the end of new stuff coming around so may as well get this going for all those great operating systems and get the DC team working on it DC okay Four designers is recommended, are recommended. Four designers are recommended. 
close those windows down, pull you up here. Info says 404, fantastic, all right. Uh, open those other things back up, click, 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 and rearrange you like that. Um, very good. Uh, let's take a look at our teams real quick. I'm pretty sure I don't have any coding teams that are sitting idle. But I'm wrong. We have code G sitting idle and code F and S. Also interesting. Was there some reason I didn't want to combine them? Do we not have... I have artists, right? Yeah, I have lots of artists. Weird. Why do I have these coding teams sitting idle? All right, so you require eight people and you require six. All right, so let's put code G onto Coaster Simulator 3. Sign code G. And you're going to need a couple of more programmers and six artists. So we've got it assigned by team. Let's go by role next. And uh, they're going down two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll do. C, G. And let's grab a couple more programmers. Hmm, very few programmers left. That's probably one of the reasons. Yikes, and not a very good group of compatible people either. Let's take a look now. So we should have one too many of each type on Team CG. And send you home, double OC. And, uh, oh boy, you're really incompatible too. Ugh, stupid. Um, and then uh, I need to send an incompatible artist. Looks like these artists are all pretty compatible. But we're going to send you back to the art team anyways. There we go, good. All right, Gina, nobody likes you. All right, so uh, there's that. Um, what I probably ought to do would be to take um, like take these incompatible coders and send them back onto like uh, on you know like uh, uh, send them back into um, the support teams where they're not going to get in anybody's hair and then pull some new coders out of the support teams. That's the sort of thing I would do in between episodes. So um, no wait, race drive. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the that's the one we just moved in. So we're not going to start developing that yet. I suppose I could break those two smaller teams up or combine the two smaller teams into one. What do we need six programmers for this? Problem is is those two smaller teams probably like super compatible. Oh no, they're not. All right, let's send uh, send the three non-programmers or non-leads over to CS Lewis. There we go. Shut that down. And so uh, we need six on here. Assign. I said assign CS. There we go. Uh, so we have one too many. Whoops, it's weird. Um, let's look at that. There we go. Team, a very effective group here. Send you back to the pool. Right there. Okay. And uh, we need uh, something like eight artists or something ridiculous like that. Five artists. Well, that's not too ridiculous. Double O D. I think we can manage five artists out of here. Team, and then roll. And it looks like these are the best. So there's five. We'll throw one more in just in case. 
and we go to C, S, there, okay. Shut you down, CS. Looks like Shannon is the odd man out. We definitely have one too many. So switch you to, uh, of course, why do I even need to think about that? Going back to double OC, of course. There you go, good, all right. Well, there's another team working on another project. Now, it looks like Project Saturn is actually getting a few, uh, few bug reports in. Magic Brian as well. A little bit from some of these other ones. Nothing too serious, though. Every time I think that we've got too much support, like these releases show me that we don't necessarily. How are our design projects coming along? Which is fine. Seventeen hundred. Eighteen hundred. All right, it is November. The only thing going on in November is Groom Two is going to get a uh, press build next month. We have a review coming. Groom Two market press build. Okay. Did I take the artists off a of team CM? Looks like I did. Sure did. Good job, me. All right, everybody loves Groom too, the best man. And um, we have uh, almost a million followers right now. What's gonna happen after that press release comes out or press build comes out and everybody sees how awesome it is? Get good reviews from the pre-release press, hopefully. Uh, well, didn't get like a jump in our followers, but I bet they're going to be accumulating $34,000. You know what's uh, interesting is this game is an early access, right? You'd think that the that it would have early access within the game as well. Uh, looks like we made about $75 million last month, which is nothing to sneeze at. So we're going to throw most of that in the bank. Up to almost $4 million per employee for uh, retirement, so that's pretty good. Uh, last month's sales. Doesn't look like we really need to order anything. Flat draw five is still our big one, but what is four is doing really well too. But um, strangely, it doesn't seem like anybody, nobody's really interested in Project Saturn. I wonder why that is. Guess we'll never know. Maybe it'll pick up in six months. Uh, let's see, do I need to port that? That could be part of it. Because we've got a bunch of new uh, advanced operating systems that it's not, like it's no good for door 12. That's pretty much it. I guess we'll port it out for frame as well. How's the support coming along? It's like we're doing just fine. Oh. No, it's kind of queuing up for everybody. Weird. We're spending a lot more time in uh, beta as well, and it doesn't seem to be making much of a difference. At least nothing is getting missed. That is weird that so, mi much, um, so much support is coming up kind of out of nowhere. I will... Oh, shit, and uh, Groom 2 is not accumulating followers. It's losing followers, but we just put out a press build. Some people have been anticipating it. Huh. Well... I was hoping that it would boost our followers up to like a million and a half or something, but I guess it's not gonna. Oh shit! Almost zoomed past the uh, zoomed past the end of the month. All right, uh, House Killer Three gets a review. 
that's going to be it for December. House Killer 3. There it is. Review. Outsource. We don't need to look at all those things this time around. Stroll straight, scroll straight down to here. Speed that up briefly. Alright, House Killer 3, 7.0. Not bad. But it's still improving very slowly. So it went up 1.5 in six months. Blech. Guess we'll come back in June. This thing's developed so slow. Uh, we're going to mark it for January. A couple more press, or not press builds, but a couple more reviews next month. That's pretty much it, though. Open up these extra windows again. All of our design stuff is going just fine. Support, we've gotten it under control, that's for sure. Go from 16 to 68. Wow, big, big drop in our profitability. That is too bad. Order some more copies of Soldier Base. Mm, Project Saturn, what a shame. Why do people not like this? Quality, great. Marketing, unavoidable. Active users. Price 641? What? Oh, for crying out loud. How does that happen? You know, that happened to me on a different... Um, a different game as well. So there's like no way to make money on this thing. Alright, well. Jeez. Yeah, I bet we're selling a shit ton of units. I just need to turn off the marketing for that. Probably down here at the bottom. Wow, I need to take a look at my marketing overall. There we are. And <sighs> Ah, that's so annoying. Oh well. Everybody makes mistakes, right? Turn the clock back on. I don't need to be looking at all this stuff again, reminding me of my failures. Uh, did I, uh... Oh no, it's in January that we have the two reviews, that's right. About halfway through the day here. Project Uranus is coming along. Charge a decent price for that. You'd think we'd get a boost in our reputation or something. For having such a good, almost free product, basically. Pretty much an open source uh, game engine. Why anybody would pay the licensing fee for that? Just buy a copy of it for every game that you make. All right, um, where are we at here? Uh, it's January. We're gonna do Magic North and Mind Blown. Um, review, outsource, review, outsource. All right, and then we're gonna close these things down and come down here. And we will take a look. Uh, Beatrice Black has died. That's too bad. Another support team person, so not not as bad as it could have been. All right, we're at 8.0 for whatever Magic North. 8.0. So that improved a lot faster than House Killer 3 did. 
Um, we'll come back to that, let's say in May. And um, and then mind blown. Let's take a look at that one. 5.5. Seems about right. Notice a pattern. Everything seems to be at 5.5 after six after a year. Oh boy. Um, so I guess that means we'll come back to that in July. See how it looks. Um, that is it for this month, isn't it? Might be able to promote Spaceman 3 at the end of the month. Hard to say for sure. But we'll find out in a few minutes. Not two. We won't find out whether we can promote it. We'll find out what happens in February in a few minutes. Well, oh boy. We made way less money than normal last month. How do we have $17 million in sales? But we only made like $30 million in profit. Hmm. Yeah, that's such a shame. $126 million in sales, $127 million. All right, well, that's just how it goes, I guess. At least we'll get a promote Spaceman 2, but we've got a, mm -hmm. uh, a pretty long stretch of no releases coming up here where we're going to have to just be sitting on our laurels. It's going to be hard to uh, be making any money. Luckily, you keep telling me that about Eric Sutton. I don't believe you. It's really annoying. Um, assign none. Okay. Develop. Pull you down here. Let's uh, let's start designing a new game. And uh, I didn't quite see what the uh, what the next game was going to be. We had Spaceman Three, so Townville Four, I guess. Popular simulation game. Townville Four simulation. There we go. And there we are. All right, make sure the price is set properly. We'll select all. Any operating systems that will support that. Not any good operating systems, but that's because I have touch support. Now, all the good operating systems will support it. There we are. Okay. Project Saturn, the fancy new game engine that's so cheap anybody can buy it. Throw Z Layer 6, Listener 6, of course. And that's going to be. I don't have any running. Pro yeah, that's not what I was trying to do. Um, that will be D. B, probably? D A? D B. Let's find out. DC. Oh, you were right. Sorry, game. I should never doubt you. All right. Move these things around. Pull you up here. Information 4-4. Four, four. Great. Put you guys back on. Shift you around a little bit. There we go. Aha. Another death. Boy, oh boy. And somebody on a team that doesn't really bother me, but people are dropping like flies. Um, but we are going to put a cut in here. That looks like a good spot to end the episode. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, I hope to hear from you down in the comments. And uh, thank you very much for everybody who subscribes. I really appreciate that. 
I will see you here again real soon with the next episode. Bye.